Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we are testing a new LoRa for Quen Image Edit 2511 that can take your AI image editing game to the next level by combining two cutting edge tools. The first one is the multi angle LoRa that can unlock precise uh, multi angle control over your images. It allows you to edit your angle shot up to 96 distinct camera angles, including front, back, side, low, and wide shot, with only one custom note. It uses the Gaussian splatting 3D renders, giving you much more consistent spatial and perspective control than a typical prompt. And to make your editing pipeline even more powerful, we will also test out the Comfy Y Quen Multi Light Custom Notes. That is an extension that gives you an interactive 3D lighting controller inside Comfy Y, where you can adjust the light direction, the elevation, intensity, and colors through a real time viewport, and then automatically generate formatted prompt strength for your relighting image. This way, you can achieve a better results than ordinary prompt results. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to master the multi-light and angle notes for better image editing and without additional prompting. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, in order to edit your our camera angle or light uh, angle too, you need to use this uh, Quen multi-angle camera custom notes where it will allow you to edit anything only uh, by grabbing those two here. So it is a very useful nodes and to make it uh, install and work all you need to do is first downloading the necessary LoRa here as you can see from this Civet AI link all you have to do is click in uh, on this multi angle LoRa it will download automatically then use this GitHub link in order to open up uh, this uh, web page after that make sure to copy the code then go to your comfy y root folder under custom notes type in here cmd then git clone paste your code here click enter and that's all you need to do so that's for the multi-angle lora nodes however we also have this quen multi-angle lightning uh, nodes where you can also edit uh, your light source we have different parameters here and to use these notes all you have to do is only installing the code here with this github link make sure to copy the code again go to custom notes folder type in git clone and paste the code here click enter restart comfy ui and we are good to use those notes once you have installed everything and restart comfy ui all you have to do is the drag and drop my workflow here and you can see the different subgroups so first let's start with the multi-angle uh, group i will disable this one and it is uh, not a complicated workflow since uh, we only have uh, uh, it is a classic coin image edit uh, workflow with some modification including the lora loader for the multi-angle uh, lora that we download here we have the load clip the load vae i am using the gg web version of this coin image edit it is a Q5 GG web version dedicated for low VRAM. You can also use other version of this model. It will give you the same result. Then we have here our input media. For example, let's say we want to work out on this image. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, using this flux context image to scale in order to scale up our images. It will be then encoded using this VAE encode and set as a latent in order to edit our images as at this uh, resolution so it is very useful notes too then we have here our Quen multi-angle camera where we will be able to edit our camera as much as we uh, needed for example we have three parameters here the horizontal angle as you can see for example here we have different parameter the vertical the horizontal angle the zoom and etc we also have this default prompt which uh, did not affect any of my results and we have here this camera view so let me show you better for example here we having a camera view that we can control using our mouse or you can switch to this uh, default view where you have the horizontal uh, controller the vertical controller so you can choose any angle uh, that you want and the image edit model will generate an image based on that i also added the uh, other notes in order to uh, to obtain uh, four uh, different angle using one click and the best way to do that is using the prompt list that we have here which allows me to include the uh, five prompt list so all i have to do is connect this prompt uh, output into this prompt list node and it will create uh, four different prompt according to uh, this uh, multi-angle nodes 
as you can see here, we asked for front view, elevated shot, and medium shot. And all those keywords are related to these notes here. We have the medium shot, which uh, is related to the zoom, the eye level shot for the vertical uh, position, and front uh, right quarter view is for uh, the height uh, or horizontal uh, camera. So as you can see, we have here different uh, way of controlling our, our camera. We also have this reset button that uh, will reset everything uh, to the initial state. And here, from here, you can start editing your images. Then based on that, a prompt list uh, or series of prompts are going to be created. You can uh, visualize that uh, using this show any. It will be considered as a positive prompt for our images. And the, the Cohen image edit will try to generate different camera angle based on that. You don't need to do additional prompting or anything that can bother you. It is a very simple and uh, unique way of generating camera angle changing. Once it is done, we have next uh, the second group, which is the light controller. It is practically the same. So let me disable that. We have the load image input, the image scale to pixel. I preferred uh, working with that one uh, since it gives me better results. I don't know why. Then our images is going to be encoded and set as a latent. Good. We also have here the positive and the negative prompt. The sampler with the four steps and CFG set to one. Since we are using uh, the Quen uh, Lightning LoRa four steps. And also don't forget to bypass uh, this uh, LoRa model loader when you try to edit your light, since it, uh, this uh, second group doesn't need any additional LoRa. The Quen multi-angle lightning group also gives you the ability to customize your uh, light angle and also your light intensity, elevation and azimuth. It is a physical term that represents a certain angle with the source of light. Let me give you a better example here. Here you can clearly see that this angle in orange here represents the azimuth of uh, incident, uh, incident light coming from a light source. So it is said that uh, it is in degree and it can take different value. For example, if it is set to zero for the north, for the east it must be 19 degrees, for the south it is 180 degrees. And for the west, it also has uh, some degrees. Based on that, you can adjust your light as you most uh, value intensity. For example, let's set it to 90 degrees. Here, I can also customize my light elevation. And we have the light intensity. It is uh, practically like a zoom for the multi-angle camera. But here, you can uh, choose to get uh, close light or light with the uh, broader distance. We also have here this light color index. It is set to sharp as default. Just leave it as it is. But make sure to enable the cinematic mode. It will give you a better results. I will do the same for all other nodes too. As you can see, I also added the, the second prompt list in order to run the, and get multiple results with the simple run. And here, you, see, you can see the generated prompt that was created using these notes at different uh, light uh, parameter customization. It is uh, adding scene lock, fixed viewport, maintaining character consistency and pose, relighting only the light source from uh, source in front, uplighting light source pointed below the character, and etc. So uh, it will uh, make sure that uh, the scene is fixed and the character consistency and pose too. However, with the, it, uh, the prompting system, it will uh, change the light of your images. Okay, now uh, that we saw everything, I also added the third group here, where you will be able to increase the level of details and the realism based on the Z Image Turbo model. It is also a classic workflow for Z Image Turbo. If you don't know about this model, it is one of the best models for uh, photorealism that we have right now. It can work on uh, different uh, v v graphic card PC and VRAM. It does not uh, need uh, a higher VRAM, so you can use directly the BF16 version without any issue. So all we have to do here is uh, either choose to work with the load image by loading our image here, then by passing the other uh, nodes. Or, for example, let's say that I created a series of images with a different light source and I want to increase their level of details. All I have to do is bypassing this. The second group, uh, the first group here is also bypassed. 
so it will do the job automatically without bothering me too much the main difference between this one and the classic workflow is the denoising uh, value i chose a lower denoise value of 0 0.4 you can also decrease to 0 0.3 or 25 it will also give you a good results the steps is set to 9 and the cfg is set to 1 so for the text positive i add here photorealistic realistic skin realistic texture materials and realistic clothes and for me it did the job many times so i strongly suggest you to activate this photorealism filter in order to obtain flawless results of course once it is done you can always disable that in order to test out multi-light uh, nodes and that's practically everything for this workflow now let's see the result uh, that i generated using uh, this uh, workflow and we will start with the multi-angle group okay for the first test i did with this image and you can clearly see that we managed to obtain different angle based on that image at the exception of this one where it uh, messed up with this eye here uh, actually both eyes and it was not uh, very good then i used this image of chameleon in order to obtain different angle results and here what i get it also created a good angle however uh, the chameleon doesn't look uh, so much good the same goes for this one for this one and that one too next i use this image of uh, old pc uh, and desk uh, on the jingle and we managed to get this results you can clearly see that we have different angle views however the texture quality doesn't look so much good after that i tried to use uh, a realistic person image so i decided uh, to go with that one and here what i get this is the first result the second results it looks very consistent and good however we still have some problem with the texture quality and some uh, noise uh, patterns here as you can see in the hair we have some patterns noise the clothes uh, also doesn't look so much good but uh, it managed to create a successfully uh, different for angles view without any uh, other issue for the multi-light i use this image of a uh, statue then i try to generate multiple uh, light views and you can see that we managed to do that easily with uh, our uh, workflow and the main advantage of this multi-light is it did not uh, create uh, low noise uh, results or low quality results it also added uh, some lighting uh, effect uh, on the image however sometimes it give me uh, some weird results like uh, this one we have this uh, star uh, effect on the light then uh, sometimes it create a blue light uh, then it jump to uh, a soft diffuse light uh, or yellow light that comes from the sun so you need to be uh, very precise with your parameters in order to obtain good results the same happened here for uh, this image of a man landing on the wood floor as you can see i managed to obtain different results but in all overall uh, the, the notes successfully changed the light direction and the light source without any issue and it is a very simple and effective way of doing that and to fix the artifact problem uh, that's why i added the high resolution fix group which allows me to fix all my problem since the ZMS Turbo can create a very good uh, realistic uh, materials, clouds and also persons so that's a very good combination if you want to edit your images without losing the consistency or the photorealism of the image only with the simple click okay that's it for uh, today's tutorial i was uh, planning of uh, doing an ltx2 uh, video tutorial about uh, this new model that came out recently However, uh, I could not uh, make it work since uh, it is a very VRAM consuming. I am still building uh, a, a low VRAM dedicated version for this uh, model. So uh, once uh, I will, uh, once it will work for me, I will try to do a tutorial for you and help you out with this model. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. Thank you.